This brief, simplified animation describes the mechanism of excitotoxicity caused by glutamate following a stroke. Lack of oxygen and sugar causes the neuron to stop making ATP. ATP-reliant ion transport pumps fail, causing the cell to become depolarized, allowing more calcium to flow into the cell. The presence of calcium triggers the release of glutamate into the synaptic cleft. Glutamate stimulates calcium-permeable NMDA receptors on the postsynaptic neuron, which open to allow calcium into the cell. Excess calcium entry overexcites cells and causes the generation of harmful free radicals, reactive oxygen species, and calcium-dependent enzymes such as calpane endonucleases, ATPases, and phospholipases. As the cell's membrane is broken down by phospholipases, it becomes more permeable, allowing ions and harmful chemicals to flow into the cell. Mitochondria break down, releasing toxins and apoptotic factors into the cell. The capspace-dependent apoptosis caspade is initiated, leading to apoptosis. If the cell dies through necrosis, however, it releases glutamate and toxic chemicals into the environment around it. The original influx of calcium can also cause the release of more glutamate. The released glutamate then causes nearby neurons to repeat the same cycle.